So a lot of people have been asking me about which device to get to run Lineage. A lot of times, the best device may be the one that you already have. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work. How you can tell is to check the official Lineage download page, which I'll link to in the description. If you need push services, you should also check Lineage for Micro-G and make sure that the device is listed there as well. However, on that page it does list only in code names, so you'll have to look up the code name for your device. That said, if you have an iPhone, for example, it's never going to run Lineage. So unfortunately, these are designed for iOS only. You might also find a device, like the one here, for example, that says it has a Lineage port in XDA forums or some kind of search engine, but it's really buggy and if it's not official, it may never work the way that you want it to. So this comes to these three other devices that represent good choices when it comes to custom software like Lineage. This device, although it's really old, is a Nexus 5 and the Nexus line or any phone from Google, ironically, is something that is typically easy to unlock and easy to add custom software to. These OnePlus devices are also usually pretty good. This is because you can get them factory unlocked from the manufacturer. And there are official lineage ports for these devices. However, you do still have to be careful when you are looking at devices with official lineage ports. That's because the bootloader has to be able to be unlocked. For a lot of these phones, it's quite simple. If they're already factory unlocked, you can just boot to fast boot and unlock the bootloader. But if they are tied to a carrier, you might run into additional problems. So if it's the device you already have, you can look into getting that unlocked with your carrier if it's possible. However, if you're buying a new, or used device rather, consider that because it could be a real pain and may not even be possible to unlock in the end. I ran into the problem with a OnePlus 7 Pro recently, which was tied to Sprint. And Sprint no longer exists, so it wouldn't be able to update to the latest firmware. And so the latest version of Lineage also would not work on it. I also had a OnePlus 8 that was tied to T-Mobile. I tried to ask for the unlock code, but after a few days I gave up and returned the phone. So make sure wherever you're getting the phone, it has a good return policy. When considering the hardware, consider what you need. For example, dual SIM or maybe a headphone jack. You don't want to think about this after the fact. Check the descriptions of the sales very closely. Some devices have image burn or the condition just isn't very good. So you're going to want to look at that. You can check out eBay. There's a company called Wise Deals that has been really good with giving proper descriptions, fast shipping, and a good return policy. Also, you might want to consider checking out the Ubuntu Touch download page to see if the device you're looking at might also have that option, just in case you're looking at something other than Lineage OS. So again, in summary, go with something that's factory unlocked when you can and make sure it's on the official download page for Lineage OS. Then be sure to follow the install instructions for that device specifically. There are many little nuances to watch out for. I'll be posting another video for an installation on a OnePlus 6T, and you can see what's involved in that process there.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.